Natalie? Yes. Oh. I thought you'd be a man. Never heard that one before. But obelisk, though? Smoke and mirrors. It's deliberate, yeah? Can I sit down? Please. What are you doing? If you want our little chat to look innocent, it's got to look natural. Trust me. Whispering intimately draws less attention than you may think. So what can I do for you, Natalie Klein? How do you know? It's my job, darling. I'd hardly ever meet someone without knowing everything about them beforehand. All their deepest, darkest little secrets. God. Um, it's my boss. I don't know exactly, but I can feel it in my bones. Something is not right. Go on. She headhunted me, poached me from a really good job looking back at it, but at the time it felt claustrophobic. And I was restless and hungry for more. Mm -hmm. She offered me exactly what I thought I needed. A position with potential like that I couldn't say no to. She came looking for me, practically lured me across the Atlantic. And maybe I should have been suspicious. Too good to be true, right? I don't see what the problem is. She offered me a job designing and launching their new cryptocurrency. But nothing's happening with that. The whole thing is starting to feel like a hoax. Get me over here and befriend me. So I'm starting to think for some other reason entirely. <laughs> I must sound really paranoid. I wouldn't get a lot of business if it wasn't for a healthy dose of paranoia. You know what they say, right? Exactly. So, if you know my name and everything about me, you must know who my family are. Oh, I do. You're practically royalty. Are you flirting with me? Just staying in character, remember? Well, I need you to hack into her email, accounts, phone, everything. I need to know if I'm going crazy or... Yeah, no problem. But a deep dive like that's going to cost you. Send me an amount in an account. I'll wear half now and half when I see you again. What? Sweetheart, once this is over, I'll send you what you need. But you won't see me again. Understood. It's nothing personal. It's been lovely to meet you. In another life, perhaps.